An arrest has been made in the killing last week of the reputed head of the Gambino crime family. And it turns out what cops first thought was a mob hit may actually have been the work of a lovesick young man. Stephen Fabian reports. Does this guy have a big X on his back? Anthony Camello is accused of blowing away the reputed leader of the Gambino crime family in New York. The 24-year-old smirked and sure looked unconcerned when he made his first court appearance today. Well, maybe he should. He's going to have some issues in jail, a high-ranking NYPD official was quoted as saying. The concern that some wise guy will take care of this guy in revenge for the slaying. This was the first hit on a mob boss in 34 years, and it was feared it was about to spark gang warfare. But now it's believed the suspect's motive was much more personal. He allegedly did it for love because the victim, Frank, Frankie boy Callie, didn't want Camello dating his niece. A perfect crime, it was not. Camello allegedly left his fingerprints behind on the victim's SUV. Dumb fella goes this front page headline. Gunned down by local knucklehead, one of the dumbest killers in New York City history. The suspect rammed his car into the mob boss's SUV and then rang the doorbell of his home. Cops say that's when the suspect's face was caught on camera, right before he opened fire. According to investigators, the suspect may not have even known that the man he was assassinating was the top gangster in the city. Camello was arrested at his parents' house on the Jersey Shore. At one point during his extradition hearing, today, Camello held up his palm to reveal the words written in pen, United We Stand, MAGA Forever. Anthony has agreed to give up his rights to a hearing in New Jersey and return to Staten Island to face the charges. The suspect's being charged with murder, assault, and weapons possession.